misery, welcome to misery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dropped it. So uh, I know you can't tell on camera, but the sun is actually like over half covered by the moon right now. Uh, if camera quality wasn't so bad, it it, it looks like a, a crescent sun, like you know you know when the when the moon is a new moon, it's just making its first rotation around the Earth. It looks like it's a you know a crescent. We all know what crescents look like, but that's what the sun looks like right now. It is amazing and. Um, Outside, it's like, it's generally more darker than it usually is. It's, um, it's like it's a cloudy day. There actually isn't that many clouds, but there, there are some. So, uh, we won't be able to see the, uh, full epicness of the, the full eclipse itself. But if I go ahead and put these, uh, these qualified shades over the camera, sun's the only thing you can see. These shades block 99.9% .9 of all light. And the sun is still that bright through them, but uh, it is it is amazing. It is so. It's now about probably less than five minutes before the total eclipse, and um, everything is really it's really dark. And I know it looks completely normal on camera, but like things like your shadows, they'll start to appear more apparently than they than they used to. Uh, I feel like I feel like shadows are darker now than they than they used to be, but um, it's almost there. I mean, it's it still just looks like a ball on camera, but like oh, you could see it for a second there. If the camera doesn't focus, you can see it. Oh, that looks epic! Why does the camera have to try to focus? I wonder if there's a way to keep it out of focus. So I messed around with the camera settings for a while and I got it to focus like that. That is the sun, ladies and gentlemen. That is not the moon. That is the sun. It looks astonishing. There's just a tiny little bit of it left. Uh, it looks bigger on the camera than it actually is. Um, I, I could try to fix that. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's beautiful. Yeah, it makes you makes you realize how orange it is. I wish I could hold the camera more still, but it's zoomed in all the way. I'm laying down in the middle of the street. And I have to hold the eclipse glasses over it, otherwise you, you just can't see it. It is almost entirely covered. Almost. It is a uh, very dark out, very, uh, in fact. No, I mean, it still looks pretty normal, but like, it is darker out. Let me, let me put this back on auto. Yeah, that that's what it looks like out here. It is it is very dark. Uh, don't don't care what the camera tells you. Uh, let's see if I can mess around with this and get it to. No, that's way too bright. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the the uh, visual settings only work if I put the shade over the camera. Yeah, there we go. There it is. So then I zoom in all the way and it makes you realize how orange it is. Generally it looks like white on cameras, but uh, it's orange, it's pretty orange. Let's see if I can get this a little better. Man, I wish I had like a 
some sort of a pro camera. By the way, it is like, it is really dark out. Like I'm talking, I can, uh, you know, it's it's like almost, <laughs> it is, it's not quite as, let's see, I'd say, I'd say that, that is about as dark as it actually is. The camera's really weird. I'm messing around with the settings a lot, but I'd say that's about as dark as it is, and it keeps getting darker. Now, of course, the sun still looks like a ball. So I guess you, if you didn't know there was an eclipse, it would just look like a really cloudy day, or like the, the end of the world or something, something normal like that. Um, but uh, I'm just sitting here drinking some Gatorade. Laying on some gravel road. No pillow or anything. I, I, it's worth it, man. I drove all the way from Wisconsin to Missouri to watch this here eclipse. Uh, let's see here. Oh, quite, but let me try to focus this again. Not quite, but it's almost. There. And I'm just trying to get it to look like as close to what I see with my eyeballs in the camera. Ow. There's so many uncomfortable rocks. It's getting there. Yeah, I'd say that, that right there, that's about how bright it is right now. It is very dim outside. But you can still see shadows. I think that's, um, I don't know. There's something weird with the shadows. I don't quite know what it is, but um, as you can see, that tiny little sliver still looks like a ball. Let me see. Like a wire, almost, like a like the little filament inside of a light bulb is what it looks like in real life. It's oddly, oddly lit around, man. I wanna, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, put this back on normal here. Ah. 
I see it. No, 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 it's not that dark, Jesus. We really like that, yes. It is, oh, a dragonfly, oh. Hey, buddy. But it's, it's like weird because it's, it's like the brightness of 5 a.m. in the morning, you know? But the light's coming from directly above. It's like a, it's a weird thing. It's, it's like, it, yeah, it's like it's six, five, six in the morning right now. But the direction the light's coming from is, is above and it's very odd. Very odd. There's the entire horizon there. There's obviously no sunrise because it's right there. And, uh, it's actually dim enough for me to look out with my bare eyes now. Which is still not a good thing, obviously. Oh, oh, there's a there's a thing going by it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh my god. What do the uh, the shades of roasting do here? Yeah, they don't do anything. Um. All right, I'm gonna throw on my eclipse glasses here real quick. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy hell. It's a dark ring in the sky. Oh. Holy crap. Oh my god. Let's turn on the That's what it looks like right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, that happened. It happened so, so beautifully and instantly. You can see the aura around it. Oh, it looks so much more pretty in real life, but look at the horizon. It's, it's all sunlit because, oh my God. Oh, that's so pretty. It's, it's like five in the morning. It, oh, I should probably put on the eclipse glasses. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't see nothing with the glasses on now. It's way too dark to see with the glasses on. That is so beautiful. that that is the moon perfectly aligned with the sun perfectly you can almost see the back of it and really like, like you can almost see the uh the like the surface of it it's weird it's only it's only on earth in this entire solar system earth is the only planet that you can view an eclipse on. A lot of people didn't know that. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's... Oh, you can you can see the sun starting to come out again. Yep. Yeah, it's starting to get bright out. Come on, come on, focusing utensils. Come on. No, it's not that bright. It's like... The light's starting to come from over there. Oh, there it is, there it is. No, no sunlight, not through the glasses. And there it goes. Just like that, it's done with. Oh, it's getting so much more brighter out here all of a sudden. Like you can almost watch it get brighter. It's like Minecraft time. It just like, it starts getting brighter. It's definitely not that bright. It's like that bright right now. Oh, that was, that was a, oh my god. Oh, there we go. There it is again. I can't. 
Can't focus on it. There we go. And now it's just the whole thing backwards. That won't happen again in America until the year 2099. I, I don't know if I'm going to be alive by then. I might be. I might be. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's the only eclipse I'm going to see for a long time. Uh, no, it's not that bright. Shut up, camera. That's about what it is. It's like a... Right now, it's like there's a spotlight like shining on me from way up above. Oh, that was so beautiful. The uh, next few minutes are just a montage of pictures I took during this event. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, the eclipse is probably the single coolest thing I have ever seen slash experienced in my entire life. It was definitely worth it. And when I say it was worth it, I mean uh, I was stuck in the back seat of a car for eight hours with a ten-year-old who wouldn't shut up and a four-year-old who would attack everybody within a foot radius of him. So that's how the car ride went, but uh, like, we stayed down in Missouri for, you know, uh, I think it was three days, yeah. And we, we did a bunch of cool, like, attraction things, and we stayed in this really nice condo. Uh, the trip was generally pretty fun, but the eclipse was definitely the best part. Now, I want to thank NASA, okay, uh, and I don't mean to make this into, like, a thank you video, but, like, you got to realize they predicted where this eclipse would be they predicted how long it would last how wide the totality path was exactly what time it would happen they knew all this stuff months in advance and i think that is truly amazing where technology can take you nowadays so just a shout out to nasa you gotta you gotta appreciate them for that because uh, if, if it weren't for them wouldn't know now it turns out up in uh, my home, my uh, you know somewhat home state of Wisconsin, it was it was all cloudy. It was only about 80% covered up in Wisconsin, but uh, I suppose that's the reason we traveled down south, huh? But um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. It was. I'm definitely going to see whatever eclipse I can next. It's happening. But in the meantime, thank you for watching.